Hey there, Marvel fans. Welcome back to Infinity MCU, where we dive deep into the most epic moments in comic book history. Today, we're counting down the top 10 most popular Deadpool fights in comics. From taking on the Avengers to clashing with Wolverine, Deadpool has faced off against some of the biggest names in the Marvel Universe. His battles are legendary, filled with humor, chaos, and a whole lot of action. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride through the murk with a mouth's most iconic showdowns. Whether he's breaking the fourth wall or just breaking bones, Deadpool never fails to entertain. So, without further ado, let's jump into our list of the top 10 most popular Deadpool fights in comics. Starting off at number 10, we have Deadpool vs. Wolverine from Wolverine Origins number 21 to 25. In the shadowy corners of the Marvel Universe, Wolverine was on a relentless quest to uncover the dark secrets of his past. His journey led him to the sinister Weapon X program, the very organization that had turned him into the adamantium clawed warrior he was today. On the other hand, enter Deadpool, the merc with a mouth. Hired by a mysterious employer, Deadpool's mission was clear. Stop Wolverine at any cost. With his trademark red and black suit, katanas strapped to his back, and a mouth that never stopped running, Deadpool was ready for action. Their paths crossed in a desolate, abandoned facility. The air was thick with tension, as Wolverine's keen senses picked up the unmistakable scent of his adversary. Without warning, Deadpool launched himself at Wolverine, swords flashing in the dim light. The initial clash was brutal. Wolverine's claws met Deadpool's katanas in a shower of sparks. Both combatants were relentless, their healing factors allowing them to endure wounds that would have felled lesser men. Deadpool's unpredictable fighting style kept Wolverine on his toes, while Wolverine's raw power and ferocity pushed Deadpool to his limits. As the battle raged on, it became clear that this was no ordinary fight. Both men had ties to the Weapon X program, and their shared history added a layer of complexity to their conflict. Between blows, they exchanged barbs and taunts, each trying to get under the other's skin. But in a surprising twist, Deadpool revealed that he had been manipulated by the same forces that had tormented Wolverine for years. Realizing they had a common enemy, the two warriors decided to put aside their differences and forge an uneasy alliance in the heat of battle. And together, they set out to take down the true villains behind the scenes. So, in conclusion, the battle end as tie between both of them. Next off at number 9, we have Deadpool vs. Spider-Man. From Deadpool, Suicide Kings number 2. In the bustling streets of New York City, chaos was brewing. Deadpool, the wisecracking mercenary, found himself framed for a crime he didn't commit. The city was on high alert, and Deadpool was on the run, trying to clear his name. His journey led him to an unexpected encounter with none other than Spider-Man. Deadpool, with his usual flair for the dramatic, was leaping from rooftop to rooftop when Spider-Man swung into action. The web-slinger had heard about the chaos Deadpool was causing and decided it was time to intervene. As Spider-Man landed gracefully in front of Deadpool, the tension was palpable. Hey, Spidey! Long time no sees! Deadpool quipped, his voice dripping with sarcasm. Deadpool, what are you up to this time? Spider-Man replied, his tone a mix of frustration and curiosity. Without warning, Deadpool lunged at Spider-Man, katanas drawn. The battle was on. Spider-Man's agility and reflexes were put to the test as he dodged Deadpool's relentless attacks. The two danced across the rooftops, trading blows and banter in equal measure. Spider-Man's web shooters proved to be a formidable tool against Deadpool's unpredictable fighting style. He managed to ensnare Deadpool in a web, but the mercenary's healing factor and sheer determination allowed him to break free time and again. The fight was a whirlwind of acrobatics, with Spider-Man's fluid movements countering Deadpool's brute force. As the battle raged on, it became clear that Deadpool wasn't the true villain. He revealed that he had been framed by Tombstone, a notorious crime lord with a vendetta against both heroes. Realizing they had a common enemy, Spider-Man and Deadpool decided to join forces, and forge an uneasy alliance was marked by constant bickering and Deadpool's incessant jokes, but together, they were a force to be reckoned with. They set out to bring Tombstone to justice and clear Deadpool's name, proving that even the most unlikely of partnerships could make a difference. So, again in conclusion, the battle end as tie between both of them. Next off at number 8, we have Deadpool vs. Hulk from Deadpool number 37. In the chaotic world of Marvel Comics, Deadpool found himself on a mission that only he could undertake. 
He was determined to find someone powerful enough to end his life, and who better to do that than the Hulk, the strongest there is. Deadpool's journey led him to a remote location where the Hulk was rampaging. With his usual flair for the dramatic, Deadpool approached the green behemoth, taunting him with his trademark humor. Hey, big guy, ever thought about a career in anger management? The Hulk, not one for words, responded with a thunderous roar and charged at Deadpool. The ground shook as the two collided. Deadpool, with his agility and regenerative abilities, managed to dodge the initial onslaught, but he knew he couldn't keep it up forever. The battle was intense. Deadpool used every trick in his arsenal, from explosives to his trusty katanas, but the Hulk's sheer strength and durability were overwhelming. Each punch from the Hulk sent Deadpool flying, his body regenerating almost as quickly as it was destroyed. Despite the odds, Deadpool kept coming back for more. His relentless nature and inability to stay down frustrated the Hulk, who grew angrier with each passing moment. The fight raged on, with Deadpool's quips and jokes providing a stark contrast to the Hulk's raw fury. In a moment of clarity, Deadpool realized that the Hulk wasn't just a mindless monster. He saw the pain and anger behind the Hulk's eyes and understood that they were both victims of circumstances beyond their control. With this newfound understanding, Deadpool decided to change his approach. Instead of fighting, Deadpool tried to reason with the Hulk. He shared his own struggles and the reasons behind his seemingly suicidal mission. The Hulk, slowly calming down, listened. In a surprising turn of events, the two found common ground in their shared suffering. The battle ended not with a decisive victory, but with an uneasy truce. Deadpool had achieved what he set out to do, not by dying, but by finding a kindred spirit in the most unlikely of places. The encounter left both characters changed, with a newfound respect for each other's strength and resilience. So, again, in conclusion, the battle end as tie between both of them, as battle stop in midway. Next off, at number 7, we have... Deadpool vs. Captain America from Deadpool, the good, the bad, and the ugly. In the gritty and complex world of Marvel Comics, Deadpool found himself grappling with the ghosts of his past. His journey led him to uncover dark secrets about the Weapon Plus program, which had experimented on him and many others. To confront these demons, Deadpool sought the help of two unlikely allies, Wolverine and Captain America. The story begins with Deadpool discovering that a sinister scientist named Butler had been manipulating his memories and using his organs for twisted experiments. Determined to put an end to Butler's machinations, Deadpool reached out to Captain America and Wolverine, both of whom had their own painful histories with government experiments. Captain America, ever the symbol of justice and integrity, was initially wary of Deadpool. Their first encounter was tense, with Cap questioning Deadpool's motives and methods. Deadpool, true to form, responded with his usual mix of sarcasm and irreverence. Hey, Cap. Ready to play hero with the merc with a mouth? Despite their differences, the two heroes found themselves united by a common goal. As they delved deeper into Butler's operations, they uncovered a horrifying truth. Butler had been creating mutant hybrids using Deadpool's DNA and the genes of other mutants. These hybrids, tortured and experimented on, were a tragic reflection of the X-Men. The tension between Deadpool and Captain America came to a head during a heated battle. Deadpool's reckless approach clashed with Cap's disciplined fighting style. The fight was intense, with Deadpool's agility and unpredictability pitted against Cap's strength and tactical prowess. Their clash was a whirlwind of punches, kicks, and shield throws, each trying to gain the upper hand. In the midst of their battle, Deadpool's humor and resilience began to wear down Cap's defenses. Despite his initial reservations, Captain America started to see the pain and determination behind Deadpool's antics. The fight ended not with a decisive victory, but with a mutual understanding. They realized that they were stronger together, united by their shared mission to stop Butler and save the victims of his experiments. Together with Wolverine, they stormed Butler's facility, facing off against the mutant hybrids and Butler's forces. The trio's combined strength and determination proved to be a formidable force. In the end, they managed to bring Butler to justice and free the tortured hybrids, giving them a chance at a new life. Next off at number 6, we have Deadpool vs. Punisher from Deadpool vs. The Punisher. In the gritty and violent world of Marvel Comics, two of the most dangerous anti-heroes, Deadpool and The Punisher, found themselves on a collision course. Their paths crossed over a mutual target, a criminal mastermind known as The Bank, who had manipulated both of them for his own gain. The story begins with Deadpool and The Punisher independently tracking down The Bank. Deadpool, with his usual flair for chaos and humor, 
was determined to bring the bank to justice in his own unique way. Meanwhile, Frank Castle, the Punisher, was on a relentless mission to eliminate the bank and anyone associated with him. Their first encounter was explosive. Deadpool, always quick with a quip, greeted the Punisher with his trademark sarcasm. Hey, Frank, long time no see. Ready for a little dance? The Punisher, ever the stoic and focused vigilante, responded with a hail of gunfire. Deadpool's regenerative abilities allowed him to shrug off the initial attack, but he knew he was in for a tough fight. The two clashed in a brutal and relentless battle, each using their unique skills and weapons to gain the upper hand. Deadpool's agility and unpredictability made him a difficult target for the Punisher. He used his katanas, guns, and explosives to keep Frank on his toes. Come on, Castle. Is that all you've got? Deadpool taunted, even as he dodged another barrage of bullets. The Punisher, with his military training and tactical expertise, countered Deadpool's attacks with precision and ruthlessness. He used his arsenal of weapons and combat skills to inflict serious damage on Deadpool, but the Merc with a mouth's healing factor kept him in the fight. As the battle raged on, it became clear that neither hero was willing to back down. Despite their differences, both men were driven by a sense of justice, albeit in very different ways. In a surprising twist, Deadpool and the Punisher discovered that the bank had been manipulating them both. Realizing they had a common enemy, they decided to put aside their differences and work together to take him down. Their uneasy alliance was marked by constant bickering and Deadpool's incessant jokes. But together, they were a formidable force. Next off at number 5, we have Deadpool vs. Daredevil. In the bustling streets of Hell's Kitchen, Deadpool found himself on a mission that would inevitably lead to a clash with Daredevil, the man without fear. Deadpool had been hired to eliminate Foggy Nelson, Daredevil's close friend and law partner. Unaware of the full implications, Deadpool accepted the job, setting the stage for an epic confrontation. Deadpool, with his usual flair for chaos, made his way to Nelson and Murdoch's law office. As he approached, Daredevil's heightened senses picked up on the intruder. The two met on a rooftop, the city skyline serving as the backdrop for their impending battle. Hey, Red! Nice pajamas! Deadpool quipped, his voice dripping with sarcasm. Daredevil, ever the stoic hero, responded with a stern warning. Leave now, Deadpool. This doesn't have to get ugly. But Deadpool, never one to back down from a fight, drew his katanas and lunged at Daredevil. The battle was on. Daredevil's acrobatic skills and radar sense allowed him to dodge Deadpool's initial attacks with ease. He countered with a series of precise strikes, using his billy clubs to keep Deadpool at bay. Deadpool, with his regenerative abilities and unpredictable fighting style, proved to be a formidable opponent. He taunted Daredevil relentlessly, trying to throw him off his game. Come on, Daredevil! Is that all you've got? The fight raged across the rooftops, each combatant pushing the other to their limits. Daredevil's discipline technique clashed with Deadpool's chaotic approach, creating a dynamic and intense battle. Despite his best efforts, Daredevil found it difficult to land a decisive blow against Deadpool's healing factor. In a moment of clarity, Daredevil realized that Deadpool wasn't truly evil, just misguided. He decided to change his strategy. Instead of fighting, he tried to reason with Deadpool, appealing to his sense of morality. Wade, think about what you're doing. Foggy is innocent. You're being used. Deadpool paused, his swords still raised. For a moment, the mercenary's usual bravado faltered. He lowered his weapons, considering Daredevil's words. You know, Red, you might be onto something. The battle ended not with a knockout, but with an uneasy truce. Deadpool agreed to abandon his mission, realizing that he had been manipulated. The two parted ways, each with a newfound respect for the other's abilities and sense of justice. Next off at number four, we have... Deadpool vs. Iron Man from Deadpool No. 7 In the bustling city of New York, Deadpool found himself embroiled in yet another chaotic adventure. This time, his antics caught the attention of none other than Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man. Stark, always vigilant about potential threats, decided it was time to confront the Merc with a mouth. Deadpool, ever the provocateur, was causing a scene in Times Square when Iron Man swooped in, his armor gleaming in the sunlight. Wade, what kind of trouble are you stirring up this time? Tony's voice echoed through his helmet speakers. Hey, Tin Man. Just having a little fun, Deadpool replied, his tone dripping with sarcasm. Care to join? Without further ado, Iron Man fired a repulsor blast, aiming to subdue Deadpool quickly. But Deadpool, with his agility and unpredictability, dodged the attack and countered with a barrage of gunfire. 
The bullets pinged harmlessly off Iron Man's armor, but the fight was on. The battle was a spectacle of technology versus tenacity. Iron Man's advanced weaponry and flight capabilities gave him a significant advantage, but Deadpool's regenerative abilities and relentless nature kept him in the fight. The two clashed across the city, their battle causing chaos and destruction. Iron Man used his suit's various gadgets to try and contain Deadpool. He deployed energy nets, sonic blasts, and even a few non-lethal missiles, but Deadpool's unpredictability made him a difficult target. Come on, Stark, is that all you've got? Deadpool taunted, even as he regenerated from the latest attack. Despite the overwhelming odds, Deadpool managed to land a few hits of his own. He used his katanas to slice through some of Iron Man's external armor, causing minor damage. But Tony's suit was built to withstand much more, and he quickly adapted to Deadpool's tactics. As the fight raged on, it became clear that neither hero was willing to back down. Iron Man, frustrated by Deadpool's resilience, decided to change his approach. Using his suit's advanced AI, he hacked into Deadpool's comms and started a conversation. Wade, why are you really doing this? What's the end game? Deadpool paused, momentarily thrown off by the question. Honestly, I just wanted to see if I could get your attention and maybe blow off some steam. Realizing that Deadpool wasn't a true threat, Tony decided to de-escalate the situation. He landed in front of Deadpool, extending a hand. How about we call it a draw and grab a drink? My treat. Deadpool, always up for a good time, sheathed his katanas and grinned. You know what, Stark? I like the way you think. The battle ended not with a decisive victory, but with an unexpected camaraderie. The two heroes, despite their differences, found common ground in their shared love of chaos and adventure. And so, they headed off to the nearest bar, leaving behind a city that would soon recover from their epic clash. Next off at number three, we have Deadpool vs. Moon Knight, from Vengeance of the Moon Knight number seven and eight. In the dark and gritty streets of New York City, Moon Knight, also known as Mark Spector, was on a mission to protect the city from its criminal underbelly. His latest target was Herman Goncharenko, a mob boss who had fallen into a coma. Moon Knight had spared Goncharenko's life, but someone else wanted him dead. That someone hired Deadpool, the merc with a mouth, to finish the job. Deadpool, always up for a challenge and a paycheck, accepted the contract. He made his way to the hospital where Goncharenko was being kept, ready to complete his mission. However, Moon Knight was already there, determined to protect the mob boss despite his own violent tendencies. The two met in a confrontation that was as chaotic as it was brutal. Deadpool, with his usual flair for the dramatic, taunted Moon Knight. Hey, Mooney, ready for a little dance? He quipped, drawing his katanas. Moon Knight, ever the stoic warrior, responded with a cold glare. You're not getting to him, Wade. The battle began in a hospital hallway, quickly escalating into a full-blown brawl. Moon Knight's combat skills and tactical prowess were pitted against Deadpool's unpredictability and regenerative abilities. The fight moved through the hospital, causing chaos and destruction in their wake. Deadpool's healing factor allowed him to withstand Moon Knight's relentless attacks, but Moon Knight's determination and brutality were unmatched. The fight reached its climax in a carnival hall of mirrors, where Deadpool's taunts took a dangerous turn. You know, I can't die, right? So why hold back? Moon Knight, taking Deadpool's words to heart, unleashed his full fury. He used his crescent darts and combat skills to slice and dice Deadpool, taking advantage of the mercenary's healing factor to be as brutal as he wanted. The mirrors shattered around them, reflecting the intensity of their battle. Despite his bravado, Deadpool found himself outmatched by Moon Knight's relentless assault. He was left battered and bloodied, needing two IV bags to help him heal and recover from the fight. Moon Knight, having unleashed his darker side, allowed the young woman who hired Deadpool to take matters into her own hands, watching as she ended Goncharenko's life. The battle ended not with a decisive victory, but with an unexpected tie. Next off at number two, we have Deadpool vs. Black Panther from Deadpool vs. Black Panther, number one. In the vibrant and technologically advanced nation of Wakanda, a clash of epic proportions was about to unfold. Deadpool, the merc with a mouth, found himself on a mission that led him straight into the heart of Black Panther's domain. His goal? To obtain a fragment of vibranium, the rare and powerful metal that was the lifeblood of Wakanda. Deadpool's journey began with a fight against the Wrecker, a supervillain wielding a magical crowbar. During their battle, 
an innocent bystander was critically injured. Feeling a rare pang of guilt, Deadpool decided to save the victim by acquiring vibranium, which he believed could heal them. His unconventional methods, however, brought him into direct conflict with the king of Wakanda, T'Challa, also known as Black Panther. As Deadpool infiltrated Wakanda, his antics quickly drew the attention of Black Panther. The two met in a confrontation that was as intense as it was inevitable. Hey, kitty cat, got any spare vibranium lying around? Deadpool quipped, his voice dripping with sarcasm. Black Panther, ever the protector of his people and their resources, responded with a stern warning. You have trespassed on sacred ground, Wade Wilson. Leave now, or face the consequences. But Deadpool, never one to back down from a challenge, drew his katanas and prepared for battle. The fight was on. Black Panther's agility, strength, and mastery of martial arts were pitted against Deadpool's unpredictability and regenerative abilities. The two clashed in a whirlwind of strikes and counters, each trying to gain the upper hand. Deadpool's humor and relentless nature kept Black Panther on his toes. Come on, T'Challa. Let's see if those claws are as sharp as they look, he taunted, even as he dodged a series of precise attacks. Black Panther, with his vibranium suit and enhanced senses, proved to be a formidable opponent. He used his knowledge of Wakanda's terrain to his advantage, outmaneuvering Deadpool at every turn. Despite his best efforts, Deadpool found himself repeatedly outmatched by the king of Wakanda's superior skills and technology. In a moment of desperation, Deadpool resorted to his usual bag of tricks, using explosives and gadgets to create chaos. But Black Panther remained focused and determined, ultimately disarming Deadpool and pinning him to the ground. This ends now, Wade, T'Challa declared, his voice filled with authority. Realizing he was beaten, Deadpool conceded. All right, all right, you win but I was just trying to help someone. Honest. Black Panther, recognizing the sincerity in Deadpool's words, decided to show mercy. He agreed to help the injured bystander, using Wakanda's advanced medical technology to save their life. The battle ended not with a decisive victory of Black Panther, but with an understanding between two unlikely allies. Next off at number one, we have Deadpool vs. The Avengers from Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. In an alternate and dark corner of the Marvel Universe, Deadpool's mind was twisted and corrupted by Psycho Man, who sought to turn him into the ultimate killing machine. This manipulation pushed Deadpool over the edge, leading him on a murderous rampage against heroes and villains alike. His ultimate goal, to kill everyone in the Marvel Universe. After eliminating several key figures, including the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man, Deadpool set his sights on the Avengers. The iconic team, consisting of Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, Luke Cage, and others, gathered to discuss the growing threat posed by Deadpool. Little did they know, Deadpool was already planning his next move. Using Pym particles he had stolen from Dr. Hank Pym's lab, Deadpool shrank himself down and infiltrated Avengers Tower. His first target was Iron Man. Deadpool sabotaged Tony Stark's armor, causing it to malfunction and explode, killing the genius billionaire instantly. Next, Deadpool turned his attention to Thor. He used the Pym Particles to grow to an enormous size, catching the God of Thunder off guard. In a brutal and swift attack, Deadpool decapitated Thor with his own hammer, Mjolnir. Captain America was the next to fall. Deadpool, using his cunning and unpredictability, managed to outmaneuver the Super Soldier. In a fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat, Deadpool overpowered Cap and delivered a fatal blow ending the life of the symbol of American heroism. Luke Cage, known for his unbreakable skin, was not immune to Deadpool's relentless assault. Using a combination of explosives and sheer force, Deadpool managed to incapacitate and ultimately kill Cage, adding another hero to his list of victims. The remaining Avengers, realizing the gravity of the situation, attempted to regroup and strategize. However, Deadpool's relentless pursuit and cunning tactics left them with little time to react. One by one, he hunted them down, using their weaknesses against them and leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. Deadpool's rampage against the Avengers was a testament to his lethal efficiency and the depths of his madness. His actions were driven by the voices in his head, urging him to continue his killing spree until no one was left standing. The battle against the Avengers was just one chapter in his horrifying quest to kill the entire Marvel Universe. And there you have it, folks. Those were the top 10 most popular Deadpool fights in comics. From epic showdowns with Wolverine to hilarious clashes with Spider-Man, 
Deadpool's battles never fail to entertain and surprise us. Which fight was your favorite? Did we miss any epic battles that you think should have made the list? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing your thoughts and suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Infinity MCU, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We've got plenty more comic book goodness coming your way. Thanks for watching, and remember, with great power comes great irresponsibility. If you're Deadpool, that is. See you next time.